Hello, I'm Sora Luxon, and this is Tarot Card 4 of Swords, the Lord of Rest from Strife, often referred to as the Soldier Sleep, sometimes called the Warrior's Reward or the Kiss of Peace, if you're talking to an initiate, because here, perhaps more than anywhere, we linger inside of a moment where peace from our wars peace after them, after our battles is found and then resided within. Our beautiful fours of the divine tarot speak to us of the Sephiroth Chesed, that sphere of perfections of things coming into the fullness of their completion, of full comprehensions, full realizations that are set, fixed in place. And so we see those principles represented beautifully here in a moment of quiet, perfect, utter peace. The swords are, of course, our emblems of air. And although no breath stirs in this room that we're gazing into, through the four of swords, we can look to the penitent in the window's glass, portrayed receiving alms or a benediction of some kind on bended knee, sunlight streaming through to land on this blazoned yellow graceful effigy. Bright color symbol of the air element, those yellows. This is the air element fully realized in its constant stability and availability, even when nothing is interacting with it. No one's breathing the air in this room and it doesn't matter. The perfection of that state is there. There is an almost angelic peace to this scene, a radiance. This is where we rest from our toils, our burdens, where troubles no longer plague us. Convalescence, repose, healing from physical illnesses, sicknesses. That is the subtlety, the secret, the occult within this card. This isn't death as pain or grief. So if you see those representations or explanations of the Four of Swords, they're just not quite informed. Because in here, what we're really looking at is rest and replenishment. Everything changes for the better in the Four of Swords. Jupiter in Libra from the 20th to 30th degree suggests to us real rest. That's what we're being spoken to of here. Respite from anxiety, from pain and sorrow. That after the grief we might feel or the obstacles and challenges we might face or have to go through, on the other side resides this. This very great and powerful calm. Like the powerful hush after a massive storm where the sun rises again. Or the great stillness after battles or war where now none are left to create further noise further action, further chaos or movement. Notice there's absolutely no stress here. There's no fear. Three blades are pointed straight down at this entombed individual and they couldn't care less. Why would they? They're completely unconcerned because none of that can touch them anymore. What might at first appear as a sorrowful scene or a death scene within a mausoleum isn't sorrowful or anxious at all but instead reveals release from pain, a place of recuperation beyond anything's ability to interfere with it, a place of healing for those who come to look on and remember as well, for them to recover in this silent room and rejoice in the glory and grace of them who the tomb portrays, right? Because they are so wondrously dissolved from any of life's labors and problems. And there is great beauty and great sanctity in that. This is a sanctuary we're looking at. It isn't some old, moldy, dusty, forgotten coffin where someone died horribly and alone. This is a place where much needed solitude and insightful introspection can be found and cherished. This is where we get to relax, where we get to be totally protected, totally sheltered in warmth and grace, and no longer need to gasp at stress. 
The Four of Swords speaks to us of rest, of ease, of having plenty, of abundance, even being given gifts, of wonderful calm, replenishing quiet, of all that comes after struggling. Inner peace, taking time for ourselves, for introspection and contemplation, retreating perhaps from the frenzy of daily life, taking a break and going somewhere private, being private or intimate, being unconcerned and completely relaxed, inner peace, inner reflection, being in a wantless state, receiving so much to where more is neither wanted or needed, can't even be contemplated. Such a state also displays a lack of movement, of action, of ambition, of that need to battle on or fight on for or against things. And that isn't always bad. So what to do with the Four of Swords? Regroup, gather your strength, avoid stresses, avoid triggers and anxieties, take a break, schedule some alone time, reflect and you will find consistency, balance those scales, truce within the honor of that wolf's head within the door frame of that soldier's honor. Do this and serenity can and will be yours. The Four of Swords reversed. Usually what I find most in the Four of Swords reversed in modern times, in most modern readings, is first and foremost, someone who has pushed themselves way too far and too hard because of this very modern world we live in. And they have, because of that, compromised their physical and or mental health. Also, I often find that the querent involved lacks or is possibly even refusing, stubbornly refusing, much needed counseling and downtime. Someone who has set themselves against concepts and actions of self-care or recovery. Sometimes it's someone who refuses to look to their own safety, to their own self-protection, who takes careless or chaotic risks with their health, refuses to disengage from a dangerous environment that they're living in perhaps a dangerous group of friends that isn't the best example Um, someone who will not step back from the chaos from the grief they're experiencing or from the anxiety they're in or from fear so that they can't ever find a moment of solitude of peace and inner reflection notice how the effigy now in this reversal seems to be about to be impaled on all those blades that are pointing straight up and that individual can't so much as even reach to raise the sword behind them in self-defense because they can't move. They're entombed. They're frozen. They're very much stuck in this state. This is surrounding and impending strife unacknowledged, undealt with, that usually leads to collapse, mental weakness or exhaustion mental breakdowns, a much worse breakdown, tragic mistakes being made because there was no necessary calm moment for reflection on the self. And we are all worth that moment that we all too often deny to ourselves. If you can't get enough rest, your relationships are going to suffer. If you never take a vacation, your work will will suffer for that. If you don't allow for balance in daily life, you will create imbalance mirrored within, both mentally and physically. So what to do with the Four of Swords reversed? If you're mentally overwhelmed, a lot of people are in this day and age in a contemporary reading, that's usually what's going on being mentally overwhelmed, working too much or too hard, feeling overloaded, behaving in frenetic ways, perhaps constantly addicted to needing to check that social media with no moment to catch your breath. If you're working too hard, struggling too much, it's time to recognize that. It's time to see that it's happening, that just because it seems to be the popular norm doesn't mean that it's healthy. And it certainly doesn't serve you well. It's time to create a minute of calm. It's time to allow space for healing. Perhaps space and time for counseling. 
It's time to sit with yourself peacefully and know that you're not betraying anyone when you do that, when you take that needed time and space for yourself. It's when you don't take time and space for introspection and restful recovery that you are in fact betraying yourself and those around you. Give yourself the opportunity to be quiet, to enjoy being alone, to meditate. That is how you will dissolve the fear, the stress, the illness, whatever it is. It's how you will be able to take the steps to gain back your mental, physical, and spiritual strengths and energies once again. We all need time to heal at some point in our lives, whether from physical ailments, grief, turmoil. At some point, we all need space and quiet. Give yourself this gift. You won't regret it. Until next time.